This is Algebra 2, and so the problems that I have on the board are from Lesson 1.4, Simplifying Expressions. This video is intended to be a review video. Before I get into showing you how to work these problems out, there are a few things that I have to say. Number one, Lessons 1.4 and 1.5 only come through a lot of practice. And so if you really want to be successful on your quizzes and tests with these types of things, this material, you're going to have to practice beyond just what I'm giving you. Number two, I am assuming that you have taken the 1.4 review I've given you and you've worked out the problems on your own. So you're not just coming to this video with a blank sheet and saying, okay, I'm going to copy down the problems. You're not going to learn anything, okay? My goal is to help you to learn this material. I want to learn this material, but it only comes through hard work. Them's the facts. That's the way it is. I can't take that away. That's algebra two. Let's take this down. Okay, here we go. So let's go to problem one, and we want to simplify. So we have 5x times x minus 3 times, or minus 3 times 5 plus x. We're going to use the distributive property. So I distribute 5x, and this becomes 5x squared minus 15x. And then here I'm distributing a negative 3. So that's negative 15 minus 3x. Are there like terms? Yes. Negative 15x and negative 3x. They go together. So my final answer is 5x squared minus 18x minus 15. Problem number two, 2y times y cubed minus 3y plus 2, grouped in parentheses, and then plus y on the outside. So this is a monomial, 2y, times a trinomial. So we distribute the 2y into the trinomial. 2y times y cubed is 2y to the fourth power. 2y times negative 3y is negative 6y squared. 2y times 2 is 4y. Now that I've distributed the 2 as far as it will go, are there any like terms? Yes. 4, let's see, da, 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 yeah, 4y and y. So 4y plus y is 5y. Final answer, 2y to the fourth minus 6y squared plus 5y. Problem three, monomial 5x squared y divided by monomial 2xy cubed. Here's what you do. Rewrite the problem now as a fraction. 5x squared y divided by 2xy cubed. Five and two are coefficients. You wouldn't be wrong to say 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So if your final answer has 2.5 instead of 5 over 2, you're correct. I didn't do that. I left it as improper. Power 2 minus power 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so I have x to the first power in the numerator. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and so y to the negative 2 has to reciprocate to the denominator. Final answer. 5x over 2y squared, or the alternative could be 2.5x over y squared. Number four, 3x plus 2xy minus 5 times a grouping of x plus y. Distributive property. Distribute the negative 5. 3x plus 2xy minus 5x minus 5y. Are there any like terms? Yes, 3x minus 5x is negative 2x. Final answer, negative 2x plus 2xy minus 5y. Number five, 5x squared y plus monomial 2x times binomial y minus x, then plus 8x squared. Distributive property, 5x squared y plus 2x times y is 2xy, 2x times negative x is negative 2x squared plus 8x squared. Are there like terms? Yes. 2x squared negative plus 8x squared is positive 6x squared. 
Final answer, 5x squared y plus 2xy plus 6x squared. Number six, 5x to the fourth, y to the sixth, that's a monomial, divided by 15xy to the eighth, that's a monomial. First thing you do is you take it as it's written and then write it as a fraction. So this becomes 5x to the fourth, y to the sixth, divided by 15xy to the eighth. Now, if I have the fraction of 5 divided by 15, that would reduce to one third. So this becomes a three in the denominator, and technically here in the numerator, that's a one, I just don't write it. I could, and you wouldn't be wrong if you did write a one. Power four minus power one is power three. Power six minus power eight is power negative two. Not quite done yet, because anything with a negative power has to be reciprocated. So this becomes x to the third divided by 3y squared. Number seven, 7x seven plus 2y times w plus 3. Distributive property, 2y times w is 2wy. Yes, you could write 2yw, and you're not wrong. But format-wise, we like to put things in alphabetical order and since W comes before Y, we'll say 2WY. But please know that if you said 2YW, it's perfectly fine. You're correct. 2Y times 3 is 6Y. Are there any like terms? No. Final answer, 7X plus 2WY plus 6Y. Number 8, 5X squared Y cubed plus 3X squared Y cubed. Are there any like terms? Yes, the x is squared in both cases. The y is cubed in both cases. You have to have perfect matching variables and perfect matching powers. And that's exactly what we have. So they are like terms. So 5 plus 3, final answer, 8x squared y cubed, we're done. Number 9, 2xz plus 5xz squared. No like terms. Final answer, 2xz plus 5xz squared. Number 10, 8x plus 5x squared minus x times binomial 3 minus x. Distributive property. This becomes negative x times 3, which is negative 3x. Negative x times negative x, which is positive x squared. Are there like terms? Yes. 5x squared and x squared add up to 6x squared, and 8x minus 3x are 5x. Final answer, excuse me, 5x plus 6x squared. We're going to move on to the last two problems, but if I made an error and I simply didn't see it, please let me know so I can make corrections. Here's number 11, 8x plus 5x squared. I want to evaluate. To evaluate simply means to take the numbers that they give me for the variables, plug them in, and then do the order of operations. So I plug in negative 3. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Order of operations, say I have to square the negative 3 first. So negative 3 squared is 9. 5 times 9 is 45. Negative 24 plus 45 is positive 21. Here's how you can be successful at these problems 100% of the time. Are you ready? When you substitute a number into the expression, always surround the, the, where the x used to be with parentheses. You do that every time, you'll be perfectly fine. So make sure that when you substitute, put parentheses around where the x used to be and put that number inside the parentheses, okay? Last one, number 12, 5x squared y divided by 2xy cubed. Now, I'm going to take x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 1 and substitute. So this becomes 5 times parentheses negative 2, close parentheses squared, times parentheses negative 1 and 2 closing parentheses for the first monomial. The second monomial becomes 2 times negative 2 in parentheses times negative 1 in parentheses cubed. 
<coughs> Excuse me. All right, negative 2 squared is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times negative 1 is negative 20. The numerator is now worked out. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. <clears throat> negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Final answer, negative 5. God bless you, wherever you are tonight.